Welcome, welcome everyone to another episode of Time for BL. This is the podcast where we review movies, TV shows, novels, and comics, all in the boys love genre. So this episode is going to be all about the Korean manhwa called On or Off. I read it on Tappy Toon. That's kind of where I read all my manhwa, but I'm sure it's also available on different websites if you just search it um, on Tappy Toon. Uh, every uh, chapter is uh, three tokens, except for I think the first three chapters, I believe, were free. Either the first three or first two were free, but I believe it was the first three. Now, this one actually has two versions. There is a 16 plus version and there is a mature version. So I started reading the 16 plus version first and I was already like, wow, this is uh, too much for me. And then I decided to check out the mature version and I was like, oh, um, (laughs) later, uh, this is definitely, um, NSFW all the way. So what is it about? Um, And as usual, all of my reviews are filled with spoilers because I keep trying to do spoiler spoiler free. I can't. I just can't. Um, So anyway, Yi Young and some of his college friends are working on a proposal for SJ Corporation. Um, This is one. uh, This is a company that is looking for a new app to basically get their company more popular. Yeah. They create a game, whatever. Anyway, uh, one of the company's directors, uh, Daehyung Kang, uh, gives him, gives Yi Young an opportunity to make up for the botched presentation that he delivered. Uh, he was not prepared whatsoever for the presentation. And we also see that he is very, he's just a very nervous person. And he thinks director Kang is hot. Like the second he sees him, like he's my type. Um, so when director Kang basically says, all right, uh, you want to make up for that? You (laughs) do something for me and I will check your presentation over and, uh, (laughs) we'll see where we go from there. So they go to a hotel room. They do it. It's like the first chapter we see that. Anyway, and uh, Director Kang lets him know that he doesn't do deals like that. That he was just wanting to see how far this kid is really going to go. Um, but he ends up looking over the presentation. He likes it. And they get to now work with SJ Corporation. So now with Yi Young, it's how am I going to work with a man that I... <laughs> I tried to get sexual favors from and basically just also being this young company all of them being like these young um, naive college students now in the working world and how that affects them so this is now how will Yi Young handle having a working relationship with a man who might be disgusted by him because Director Kang doesn't like the whole thing with him actually accepting, uh, like saying, yeah, I'll do sexual favors to get my company on top. He doesn't actually like it. And how does it work now that they might be wanting to get to know each other better? How does that work? Uh, What do I think of the comic? I enjoyed it. I did. I did enjoy it. Um, you see Yi Young get taken advantage of um, by not not Director King, um, but other directors because of how naive he is. He just like wants to please everyone. Um, he feels like he doesn't deserve his place in the company because everybody has a job. All the women he works with, they all have their jobs as far as developing, um, working on the um, artwork, all that stuff. And he his, his job is to do the presentations because they can't really function in public. <laughs> All the girls don't function in crowds. They don't like crowds whatsoever. And it's really funny actually to see that. 
the girls on his team, they all kind of fit a stereotype. Like, this is the loner, cutesy girl. This is the loner. <laughs> Everybody is kind of just this shy, socially awkward person. But they're also really smart in what they do. <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to get to. But they also like kind of fit a trope of this girl is like this. This girl is like this. That kind of deal. Um, but they're... They all, it works for them. They all get to work together the way they want to work together, I guess. <laughs> uh, so one of my favorite scenes, though, uh, is Secretary Lim. So Yi Young wants to try and get his presentation seen by Director Kang, and he's talking to Secretary Lim and asking her to help him out, like get Director Kang to check out this presentation. And she's letting him know she can't do that. There's no way around it. And Director Kang leaves for the day. So because he leaves for the day, she says to Yi Young, love this scene, I'm, I need to step to the bathroom, you know, I'm pregnant. And it seems the door has been left open, but I'm just going to go, okay? And he goes, oh, no problem. I'll watch the door and I'll watch the files and I'll make sure nobody troubles anything. And she's just like, oh my gosh, this dude is an idiot. So she basically has to spell it out for him. I'm going to walk away, go to the bathroom. You go in there and put your file in there for him to see. <laughs> uh, so he finally gets it and he does it. How did I feel like overall about the story? To me... The story was mostly sex, <laughs> which is not bad. I mean, if you like smut, you like smut. That, that's, that's just how it goes. You like smut, you like smut. Um, mature version versus the 16 plus version. Yeah, what's the difference? One moment. I'm checking my phone. So I because I have purchased episodes from the mature version, I have purchased episodes from the uh 16 plus version so i'm just going to go to the 16 plus version first do i have the beginning scenes of the mature version as well i might <laughs> let me go over here to my library <laughs> all right so on or off yeah episode eight they're at the hotel room yeah so on the 16 plus version it's mostly like close-ups of faces and then I'm heading over to the mature version now, if I can remember how to get to that. Oh gosh. Why do I keep hitting on the wrong thing? Settings. You go into the app, you go to settings, you click website, it takes you to the website on your phone. Tapitude.com. My mature is on. My mature is always on. Mainly because I'm reading all about lust right now. Wait, no. Is that the one? Yes, All About Lust is what I'm reading. And it is the, I'm reading the mature version because I decided to just look to see if there was a mature version. I saw it and I was like, and uh, I'm, I'm just going to read the mature version on this one. It's called All About Lust, so I might as well see the lust. Okay, so episode, so when you click on the episode in the mature version. All right, so we're looking at episode eight and getting to them being in the motel, hotel, holiday, and say what? And throws them on the bed, close-ups of face, close-up of neck. Oh, that wasn't in the 16 plus version. <laughs> that, oh yeah, uh, so... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, the mature version definitely shows a lot more. So if you are uh, mature and you pass the age, because you actually have to prove your age in order to get to the uh, mature version anyway. Um, wow. I forgot all about that. So yeah, the mature version definitely shows more versus the 60 plus version that shows you close-ups of faces. I forgot all about that because I couldn't handle the mature version. I'm an adult and even I was like, that's too mature for me, but it might not be too mature for you. You might be into it. <laughs> I don't know your life. I have no reason to know your life. Um, but yeah, wowza. I, I forgot how mature the mature version was. 
Uh, so season two, it's on hiatus right now. So season two, I don't know when it's going to come out. When I was looking up who wrote this, what I got was A1, like the letter A and the number one. I don't know if that's actually their name. I'm trying to check right now to see, but I'm not seeing any other names. Now, like I said, they uh, this is, I'm sure, available on other sites. I don't actually know. I read my manual on Tappy Toon. I just, I just pay for it. <laughs> I just go ahead and pay for it. Yeah, comic by A1. A as in Apple, 1 as in the number 1. So there you go. Um, Do I recommend this? Yeah, I mean, it's not a horrible comic. I mean, I think if you're looking for like a deep storyline, you're probably, as far as the first season, you're not really going to find it here. It's very basic storyline. Honestly, I just, I have to give this a 7.5 out of 10. If I'm being honest, it um, most of the buildup and everything is focused on the sexual experience that Yi Young had with Director Kang. That's really what this ma uh, manhwa is about. It's just about the sexual experience they had and how amazing it was. And it was mind blowing sex. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and they have it again. <laughs> And now it's a will they, and it eventually just becomes a will they, won't they. Probably one of the reasons I was just like, okay, whatever. Well, I wasn't like, okay, whatever. I mean, I still like was waiting for the next episode to come out so I can read it, but I wasn't jumping for joy. I don't want to compare this to anything else. I'm, I'm not going to start doing that. I always go into start comparing uh, comics to other, ah, forget it. Let's, let's devolve. Let's compare. Okay, so if we're going to compare Manwa, like, I don't hate On or Off. It's very, like, if you're just looking for something that's sex-fueled, that's that that would probably really work for you. Um, for me, what I really liked, but again, I can't really compare it because it's two completely different stories. But whatever. Um, so Cherry Blossoms After Winter is another Manwa that is on tappy tune i think it's actually the first one that i read on tappy tune it's on hiatus right now uh is she coming out with a season four i don't know if she's coming out with a season four or not but anyway the whole manga manhwa sorry is about these two guys who ended up growing up together because one of them his parents died <laughs> And so Heibom's parents died, so he um, moved in with Taesong and Taesong's mom. And uh, they, Taesong didn't want Heibom to live with them because living together, he felt like living together might mean they were brothers and he didn't want to be his brother because he's been love, in love with him ever since they were little. And uh, finally, they both kind of confess their feelings together and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. <laughs> anyway, uh, because I guess with Cherry Blossoms After Winter, it was uh, just reading the development of their relationship. We didn't uh, get into the smut until season three. Uh, season three is when it finally was just like and here you go and the um, author did a little thing where they talked about that where for them um, what they were going to do as far as the storyline they had planned out and <laughs> what they, when they were thinking of putting them having sex and all that stuff um, and why they did it the way they did because uh, season one and was season one and two devoid of the sexual relations? Season one was. Uh, season two, I can't remember. I'd have to read it again. Uh, but with this, I guess because this one was a growth of the relationship and I saw a growth of these two people coming together, that's why I liked it more. I like romance romance where, like the goofy romances especially, where you're watching these two people fall in love and you're watching their... Um, feelings for each other grow in that way with honor off i don't know if Yi young is in love that's the thing i think that's it i can't tell if <laughs> Yi young is actually in love with director king or if he just wants to have sex with director king i mean i guess i guess the author is trying to play it like a romance to show like Yi young but <laughs> Yi young just like from the beginning, Yi Young is just looking at him, going, "He's my type," and 
then they have sex and then they have sex again and this time it was more passionate and (laughs) now they're on a not a date is a date where neither of them want to admit their feelings for each other because they're they're but at the same time i'm going is it really feelings or are you both just like the sex is bomb can we do that again that that's i think that's what i feel about on or off um if this is supposed to be a love story i'm where is the love (laughs) but if this is supposed to be a love story i'm not sure if i can see the love story uh would i read season two i don't know yet I think what I most likely would do is wait until like a bunch of episodes from season two are loaded and then at least that way I can check out like maybe the first three episodes of season two get an idea of where the story is going and then keep reading is it a horrible story no especially like if you just want to read debauchery read debauchery you do your thing but I think because for me I like stories and I like romance and I like falling in love and stuff like that that's what I want um it's hot (laughs) it's hot okay so oh yeah only the first episode is actually free you have to pay for every so every episode after and i think it's because the first episode is probably the only one that doesn't well the first episode gives you an idea of what the manhwa is going to be because in the first episode uh the free episode we actually start with them in the hotel room (laughs) and And Director King uh, taking off. <laughs> and Director King taking off Yi Young's clothes and uh, licking his nipples. <laughs> that that, and I think that should have should have told me what this was going to be from the beginning. Um, it's my own fault. <laughs> it's it's my own fault. <laughs> I, I think I, I think that's the problem. I went in with a different expectation and then I got this and I was like, oh, I mean, it's still interesting. I'm still going to read it. <laughs> and I didn't stop reading it. I've fed, I read the whole season. And like I said, season two, you know, maybe I'll, I'll just check out the first couple episodes because I like I like all the characters. Well, do I like all the characters? <laughs> I like Director King's assistant, (laughs) the second one. He gets a second one because the first one, Secretary Lim, she's pregnant. So she goes on leave after she, um, when she goes to have the baby. Still like her, actually. I really like her. She is just blunt. I don't like the second one. The second one is a lesbian. And uh, what was that line? She said something like to the, uh, to the effect of, um how secretary lynn was very cute if she was a lesbian she'd go after her like something like that i like her too and she's a biker so hey you go um that's kind of it <laughs> uh yeah so that is my review of on or off at the end of the day i do think it is a story that a lot of people enjoy like <laughs> it's it starts with sucking on nipples Um, like I said, the mature version is available as well. You have to be online to read the mature version because uh, they can't make mature versions available in apps. It's like rules with Google Play and um, well, <laughs> Google Play and uh, whatever the Apple software is. I'm sorry, I'm an Android user. I don't care what you Apple people use, <laughs> but they can't put uh, mature content on the app. So, but there is a link in the app to get to the website and on the website you can um, just log in the same way you log in on the Tappy Tunes app and you have access to your mature content there. Um, you can read on the computer, you can read on your phone, whatever works for you. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed that episode. I hope if you enjoy on or off, go ahead and let me know about it. I do want to see what other people's views are do you think this is a romance story are these two falling in love and i'm just blind to the fact (laughs) maybe maybe that's maybe that's the problem uh so yeah let me know what you think of on or off uh let me know what you think of tappy tune in general uh where do you get your bl man well let me know as well i'll check out that site too so thank you for your time this has been jd young love you have a good morning good afternoon good evening good night whatever it is wherever you are